Hey, I'm here back again. We're uh, just ending after that kill. I don't even know why I bothered to make a second video. I could have just shot it as one. But I wanted to skip the teleport. Um, and since I always pretty much run the racks anyway during the video, I figured I would just go ahead and start it here. So click one click bink. Oh, but I forgot something. I grab this and and this. They haven't even actually said yet. Presets are the best thing that ever happened. Pretty much, JJX deserves all the money they've ever made just for that one thing. Anyway, so we're going to be doing the uh, bottom half today. Um, I, I'm not sure if they actually count it as uh, the bottom or the top. But I like to call it the bottom half. Anyway, I just got a link that's all that I didn't even know. So, what do you do? Um, I have a regular gear on, going for speed kill. I have a Burnish familiar, uh, I mean, a, uh, an accuracy familiar damage and uh, accuracy rather than a beast of burden because I don't need food. Um, last kill I did, I think I had half my food left, and I spent a lot of time getting myself killed uh, and wasting food and still had half my food. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. I already have everything set up. So it's the same stuff. Um, basically, uh, phase one is always going to be the same crap. Um, the doing this changes P2 and P3 considerably. So I'll be explaining that. Um, the path that you do makes the other path not done to the other side. I killed Brax too fast so you can see the darkness part on last kill. However, when you, when you, uh, per se, if you take this path, when I get to the end, um, Brax is still going to be acidic. Because I didn't go through this part and use up his acid. So when I go down here, when I get to the end, I'm going to have to deal with more acid spiders, or else he's going to be really acidic on, on phase four. Um, however, I'm probably still not going to bother with him again because I'm just lazy and they don't do enough damage on low end rage. You can care too much. Um, another thing, you can see I have both foods to be binded. Food, food first, and then the brew, it lets you double eat. Um, but if you eat the brew first, you can't double eat. I, if I click both buttons at almost exactly the same time, if I click the food first, it'll go off and it'll and it'll kill me 3,000. But if I click the brew first, it'll only kill me 1,000. And that's really convenient for if you get hit really hard and you need to come back immediately. Anyway, back to this. We are waiting for the light to show up. Here it is. Um, it might be a little bit hard to see on the little graphic, but it's a pretty late giant hole in the sky. Um, sometimes these eggs fall off the map or like all well, out of the light, and what you want to do to be honest, stay in the light uh, for a couple seconds and then hop over to them because you'll take a bunch of damage from standing in the darkness anyway. Might even take less damage for being hit by the fireball than by standing on the egg so the darkness for you. Um, something I haven't tested here is to see if holding a lantern or anything would actually help you. It seems like the kind of thing I should definitely check on. So as you can see, you just 
stand here in the darkness like a dick. And um, anyway, it's the same crap. The wax comes off the ceiling, and you have to use a key. Uh, one of your arrow keys to dodge and attack. If you guys are completely key that he halfway kills the wall and doesn't hurt you at all. If you dodge it partly, like at least try to, he will hurt the wall a little bit and hurt you halfway. And if you don't try it all, he'll hurt the crap out of you. Um, I'm already over here, so I'm just going to stay in the darkness. It's not actually that big of a deal. Um, the in range is so low that he can't really hurt me that much. I'm more worried about speed to kill up than I am of actually being like hurt. And since I don't have any extra piece of burden, I really got to keep this strong. I'm so used to having my fine the other way. Anyway, so if you can see the dark space is I mean really it's hard to tell which one's harder. Um, in my opinion, I think you take more damage on this phase than you do with the acid, but that is judge. It also depends on your skill. Um, if you like dodging that, dodging that claw is going to be a real shitstorm. Anyways, you come down in here, and as you can see, this green button right here, because he still has 100 acid, then that's because we didn't do the acid phase. So he has all of his acid. Um, if he spawns these fast enough, I might fall, I might bother to use it. Uh, I should be doing this video every but um, here's this enrage button, and here this plus sign with the heart. This is the health you can heal, which you just ended. He doesn't have any more health to deal with. You know, he spawns two spiders on the road. I might bother with it. Go ahead and reopen. Get the shit out of him. If you see that, I just hit a, I just hit a 12k on him. I, I wonder if that's damage cap. Because I know I've hit higher hits on it, but maybe they were allowed to cap. But anyway, uh, that was a good 12,000 damage. So. Now we've got three of these. Um, whatever, I'm gonna go ahead, so you drag them under him, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the light back in so I can show you better. Okay, so what I normally do is I walk over here, that's what you think it towards me, I click towards him, and then I search, and then stay under him. Um, here's the last one now, I think, yeah, okay, so here's the last one, and now he has no more acidity, and when I go to the next phase, I'm not going to take that extra damage in these. Light. When he turns the room dark, just get the dark. As you can see, I was far enough away that he didn't even bother to reel me in for the cleave. Um, he drops a firebomb, you stand on him. If you don't stand on him, you take 3,000 damage. And it actually spawns much spiders in the fight. Uh, they have about 3,000 health. Not really a big threat. But something to deal with is you wouldn't have had to. You simply walk over to the edge. So that's something that's not even worth being lazy for, and I mean, I know lazy. So, anyway, so back, you facilitate a little damage for you, a lot, at half damage for a couple of seconds, which I mean everything here, especially if you run out of food. If you run out of food on this phase, I mean, it's totally possible to do this entire phase with no food, especially with the ability you have at your disposal. I'm going to use Devotion here, so now I take no damage again. I'm going to use my, uh, I'm going to use my uh, Death Slip this early, because I'm going to end this kill really, really fast. Uh, 
stuff. There's the slug ball bouncing around, annoying me. I'm going to go ahead and kill Rat. Uh, almost. So it hits me once and I step away. Now it's back to bouncing and not bothering. Alright, turn off all your stuff. We got. Oh, and an eye. And I. Yeah, I just started that. I just threw away a knock, a knock staff. Oh, that feels bad. Good night.